All right, we're going to do a basic noise reduction tutorial. Ignore that black box. Um, just right click on your audio file and edit in sound booth. Render and replace. That will bring the file back over to Premiere Pro when you're done. Sound booth's going to open. You're going to see this uh, mass of waveform. Uh, the high peak areas here are talking and other noise, and then you'll see a little bit of uh, blank areas in between. I'm going to focus on that blank areas and you can see across the middle here or lower area there's this sort of consistent noise that was a backup alarm on a vehicle and then finally we'll uh, go into something else select the rectangular tool first thing we're going to focus on is that backup vehicle so we're going to just draw a rectangle around that very consistent noise that goes throughout the entire process we're going to drop it about 20 decibels I find that's pretty sufficient to keep it natural sounding but get rid of that noise so it's going to do its thing now and you'll notice that when I deselect the rectangular area there is a kind of a black hole where that noise used to be it was such a thin sliver that it's going to produce a pretty natural sound and that noise is going to be gone next thing we're going to go into cleanup audio first I'm going to need to select the time selection tool and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an area that's very uh, quiet, it's just background noise, and I'm going to tell it to capture the noise print, and that's the noise that I want to get rid of. Now I'm going to select the entire project and click on noise, and you can mess around with the preview button here and uh, with your two uh, sliders and sort of play around with it because you really don't want to get too aggressive with your noise reduction. It sounds strange, but if you get too aggressive, all the way up to a hundred on both you're gonna get this strange robotic sound that's not pleasant and of course the other end is no noise reduction at all which is kinda of useless so tweak around with it a little bit when you find the right spot hit OK it's gonna do a little rendering and when you get out of this when Adobe's done you're gonna see that all of that not all but a lot of that stuff is now gone it has really focused in and gotten rid of some stuff so pretty uh, pretty major decrease in background noise that can be either due to a, a bad microphone incorrect use of a microphone or if you just buy a lousy microphone um, word to the wise invest in your microphone now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here you can see I drag that little blue box to a particular area and I'm gonna take the other side I'm gonna do the same thing left click and hold and then drag that thing over so you get really zoomed in you can see there's a couple of little random noises in here you know the amount of twigs popping or something like that select your lasso tool and just draw a faint line around the outside of that and then just drop it again about 20 decibels seems to be sufficient and uh, there's another one over here I'm just gonna draw a little uh, little line around that and just again drop it about 20 decibels seems to be quite sufficient to get the job done and when I deselect you're gonna see that those little blips are just absolutely gone you might see a tiny remnant but that's it click on my magnifying tool it zooms me back out and my project is now where I want it I'm just gonna click on close because it's gonna ask me uh, do I want to save yes and what it does now is it saves it closes down sound booth and you can see you now have a different color here in Premiere Pro and that's how to do noise reduction.